Hello my friends! Welcome back to Phoenix Point, it's episode 44. Uh, I hope we're racing towards the end here. I'm pretty sure once I scan down here and scan a bit more I'm going to be able to hit this mission and that's going to be some critical juncture. Either that or the Queen research is going to be some critical juncture that allows me to progress. In the meantime I'm going to hit the layers. <clears throat> um, there's a lot of risk. There's a lot of risk in hitting these layers because, you know, I find that with the infinite spawning, you can just get into a bad situation and never recover on these. So, so far I've been... I wouldn't say lucky, but I've, I've managed to do them all without too much risk. <clears throat> Usually by just cleaning out the center a little bit and then running one guy off to make the assassination. But, it, you know, this is like a game of glass cannons versus glass cannons. It kind of makes things very unpleasant. At least when you have a technician, of course, you can just run your armor at maximum all the time. That's it. It's there. I've I've been on this map before, actually. This is one of these ones where it's reasonably easy to jump jet to it. If you follow the the road back, it actually wants you to go up here. There's actually no way across this bit. Unless you uh, smash down that. Well, that didn't take long. That's one over there. Standing by. Sprinting. Ugh, where is that? Ugh, I just don't quite have a shot, otherwise I could paralyze it to death. Wow, I don't think it knows that we're here. Yet. Oh, a goo launcher. Great. Just a perfect weapon to bog down my assault. I need to avoid being detected on this turn. All set. Got a visual. On. Um... All oh, right, that's why you can't get through there. You can get across there, but there's like a wall in the way here. You actually have to pass under this area.
Oh my god. Ready for action. I've got to be quick. I need to take that goo launcher down or mind control it. Same with the siren. Arms online. Going full stealth. Not making any noise. Oh, never mind. Wow, look at how many enemies there are. Goo! Oh my god. I don't think he can get through the goo, though. Five by five. Uh, let's see, I can get that far by double dash. Triple dash will get me here. And the rest of my action points will get me in there. I can still do this. Days of Dash. Pushing on. Let's just hope I don't encounter anything up here. There, I see them. There. Mm, I don't think that egg is close enough. You're just hoping. Moving out. I can't take much more of this. Oh my god, there's a friggin' crab just waiting there. Fine. Yes. Wow, that was an indirect shot, but he still gets to shoot back. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, I'm spotted. Now I'm not. You can vanish on the same spot. For reasons lost to science. Here we go. Nice to meet you. For some reason, half my shots missed. <clears throat> All right, he dies next turn. Ready for action. Rapid clearance. That was a mistake. I went to click the aim button and it friggin' clicked the fire button, but okay. And he disabled my arm. So this character is now actually out of the fight. With no way to recover. Crunch time. Confirming target. Okay. If I can cause a morale cascade failure. Then I've got this in the bag. And I might be able to do it with this character. I just gotta play my cards right with these idiots. Gotta keep on pushing. Zooming in. Okay. Ah! Oh, I dashed so I don't have enough for Rage Burst. That was dumb of me. Boy has an unarmored arm. So be it. It's hard to shoot like this. Ah, here it is. The arm with no armor. He's got the return fire ability, so if I don't completely obliterate him, then uh, then he'll do a world of disservice to me. This does 300 damage, and destroying this part will remove 20 HP, so he should die.
No, it doesn't work like that, apparently. Well, that's quite annoying. But fine. <laughs> You know what? I can't get him without Rage Burst. But I can get over here. The snake died of bleed out. Good times. The AI is confused about who to go after. Let's just hope the goo launcher doesn't fire at my. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Goo! I was gonna say, I hope it doesn't fire at my guys near the spawnery. Because that could end badly. Alright, oh, he wasn't sure what to do. Sweet. Okay, game is thinking away. Oh, there's another enemy there. That's a bloody siren. Ready, sort of. I just need the right angle. Oh, I think I've got you. Let's not mess this up, yeah? Center mass, buddies. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. <laughs> I thought I was in so much trouble. Man, I thought I was about to lose two guys, maybe more. Because, you know, if I lost them, then what I'd have to do is kill the goo launcher and evacuate. Suppose it just goes to show I should have anti-goo shoes on all my dudes as well. Make it a priority to add anti-goo shoes to everybody. I'd love to get rapid clearance on my uh rapid clearance and dash on my infiltrator. So I can um Try and do rapid clearance with uh, the 66 times 6 uh, rifle shot. All oh, right, I think the other. I think they're gonna actually win. I don't need to get involved in that. Scan complete. Okay. Time to rest, dudes.
Oh, it doesn't work on mutant legs. It only works on boots. I wonder if that destroys goo, though. Because that's a possibility also. Well, this description is wrong. It does not grant an additional five strength. Which kind of makes you wonder how many of the descriptions are not trustworthy. Of course, with the regenerating torso, you you lose the uh, you lose your um, let's put a real rifle back on. You lose your uh, ability to jump as well. No need for a paralysis rifle anymore. I think I've got what I want. Because time to multi class heavy and get myself a ha get myself a copy of Rage Burst. I don't think rapid clearance is really that helpful when the enemies are all so tough. Could add sniper. Actually, I don't really feel like sniper would be that helpful. It's either heavy and add rage burst, or it's uh, berserker and add the armor shred. Because um, if you add the berserker's armor shred, and rapid clearance together, and I don't really have the SP to pull it off with this character, I don't think. Then uh, your shotgun just rips armor apart, so therefore you can actually get one shot kills. I don't know if I have any other dudes in that position. This was not the best character I ever designed, to be fair. <laughs> designed to be fast. Then again, he got the job done. Again. Again, he got the job done. Once again, he managed to kill the enemy. If he'd have only had four more willpower, he could have gotten there. He could have gotten directly to it by himself. You know, I think I have enough to actually take him to 16 willpower. All right, let's uh let's stop wasting time anyway. I do like the idea of a uh of an infiltrator multi-classed with um, uh, with assault. I like the idea of cross-classing and adding dash and rapid clearance. But I don't have enough Phoenix SP to do that. But it is something I could do. And this could be a really terrifying 
a sniper. Of course, uh, Rage Burst would also be mental. A big target would just vaporize. 66 times 6 Rage Bursted into like a queen or something, is it's just going to vaporize. Likewise, I was also considering Sniper for those. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to get the Sniper Rifle without actually needing the Sniper class because I wanted rapid clearance. This is the wrong guy to do it. What I would need is an Infiltrator with Sniperist or an Assault with Sniperist, and I think I found one. Here we go. We have an Assault with Sniperist. In training. So, let's plan this out. We would require infiltrator training. We would require sniperist, of course. Now we'd need rapid clearance and sneak attack. 100% we'd need both of those. Maybe dash to move around, but that's not a requirement. So I'm looking at do the math on this. Uh, show me snipers, please. All right. So we're looking at 130 and 25 percent. So 55, 60, so we're looking at 160, 165 base damage per shot. Then, with sneak attack, it doubles. So we're looking at over 300 damage a shot, well over 300 damage a shot. That is uh, potentially, not even potentially, that's instant death to pretty much everything. And then with rapid clearance, we could just keep doing it. What we need is tools for this guy. Some stealth, muchos accuracy. Plus 10 stealth, what about this hat? Five. Your drugs pants. I guess this is the best stealth equipment I have. Without uh, without building for um, mutations, which I don't think I have any that really really get the job done. That's only it's only five percent. Oh, thirty percent stealth legs. Wait two. Uh, 
Where'd he go? I hate the way this constantly resets like this. Uh, here we go. Mutant stealth legs it is. We'll get your other stuff later. Alright, I'm looking forward to building this character. I think we can get like a ridiculously high powered shot that with rapid clearance we can sort of get three shots and kill three enemies basically. It's not perfect because uh, you only get two action points back and the sniper rifle costs three to fire. Uh, you know what? It is nice to have a two action point backup weapon. Let's be fair. How much does that armor weigh? doesn't weigh anything. And the chest piece has a weight of one. Sweet. So I don't even have to build that much strength. Now one thing that you can do, which I've never done, is you can actually use two transports. So, God, this list constantly like resetting back to where it was. It's the most irritating thing. Shotgun monster, that was my plan. Oh, I see why. Plus 50% damage. Plus 50% damage shotgun shots is going to be amazing. You know, it's funny I never used this, because it could potentially be useful for helping one guy get something done. It's a mutant! Do I really need to do anything with him apart from this? Plus 50% shotgun damage. Now all he needs is the speed and willpower to close with the enemy. Um... See, willpower directly translates into speed as well. Alright. That's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt so much. My god. <laughs> 60 damage shotgun pellets. 
Yeech. This guy's going to be a rapid clearance monster. I could probably uh, manufacture him a uh, Disciples of Anu shotgun as well. Because he's not going to fire from a distance ever. We're just going to rely on him to close with his victims. Okay. So, I put these two boys in the uh, in the transport here, so that I have eight guys. So then, what I can do is, as soon as my guys are healed. Both transports can go to the lair, and I'll have an extra two units to play with. I need to heal, though. Oh, I heard a ping. There we go. Scan hopping across the universe. And off we go. Sinedrian claims to stand oh, for anarchism, my God. but true anarchism is freedom from coercion. What Sinedrian actually stands for is the tyranny of the majority. And that tyranny is leading them to a rejection of human will and accommodation of the Pandoran invaders. This is treason. And New Jericho will no longer accept it. We therefore declare war. This is hilarious. <clears throat> you are a literal dictator. And you are complaining about the tyranny of the majority. Okay. <laughs> Talking about freedom of will, but only for for a select elite few, huh? Scan complete. Right, so now what I can do is I can actually start. I can start this mission and I'll have all my troops available. Hopefully that will make taking these guys down a little bit safer. So I hope. And as for this, there's no... It's just out of range, so I still have no path to target. So this this is not RNG, I believe, because I said this before, but the lowest point actually connects to the highest point, and then that connects to the next point, and so on. So I believe this section is basically designed to drag things out. I think you can get here if you used a different... If you used a pair of... Uh, if you used a pair of Helios as your troop transports, which you could do, you could have ten blokes in a pair of Helios and then pick the eight that you want to use each mission and have a couple of spares and just fly the pair together as a team, like I've done here. Then you could probably get down there right now. From this point to this point, but I think we're going to have to wait just that little bit longer. Still, we haven't wasted much research time because I managed to capture another queen, or another another queen. Three queens I captured and only one counted. So I think we're finally done with this. There's still this... Psychic Influences research which I haven't done, which I think requires me to capture yet another um, siren, which I will attempt to do at some point. The problem with capturing sirens is you need to paralyze them before they've mind controlled somebody. Because even paralyzed, they can just carry on mind controlling your dudes and then you're in trouble. So, anyway, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time.